time today i want to talk about my first flight ever from hamburg to spain and i'm gonna give you an update on my experience and how everything went so this was my first flight and i was super super excited because we're going to spain for one whole month and my parents are just gonna work from there because they're both self-employed and we're having a second home there so we're going to be there more often throughout the year so it's kind of important that everything with this flight goes well because of course i want to come and my parents would never go without me so it's very important that this flight goes well and in my last video i showed you what i packed i'm gonna link this up here and it's kind of like the packing for a whole month and of course then we went to the airport with all of our suitcases um, and we arrived around two and a half hours before departure so we would have enough time to check in our bag and also wouldn't get stressed with me being there for the first time and before going in we made sure that i still could go like potty and everything worked out and then we realized that there's a very very long line at the check-in and my dad kind of stood in line because we had to drop off a bag and also pick up my ticket. But because it was such a long line, my mom and me waited on the side and we could just like sit down. And I just took a nap and that was completely fine as long as I'm on my mom's lap. I have no worries and I can sleep like a baby, which I basically am. And after like one and a half hours, it was finally my dad's turn. So as soon as it was his turn, my mom and I joined him because they had to check also my EU passport. And then we got my ticket at the counter. But the woman kind of like did something wrong in the beginning with my ticket. And she kind of tried to check me in for another airline and clicked something wrong in the system. And afterwards, everything kind of was screwed up. And we stood there for like 20 minutes after like waiting in line for one and a half hours already. And another guy had to join her in order to help her. And they had to call the KLM hotline in order to figure out the problem. And everything was like so, so stressful because basically we still stood there at 10 a.m. And our airplane was supposed to leave at 10.15. So basically the gate was already closed and the boarding should have been completed. But at the check-in counter, they told us that they would call the gate and the pilot that they would wait for us. So we sprinted through security, made it through, and then sprinted to the gate. And it was like all super, super stressful, but we made it. And that was like everything that counted. And on the first flight, we actually got super, super lucky because we got a very nice stewardess who thought I was super cute and who told us that their parents have a toy poodle as well so she really liked me and normally of course i have to sit uh, next to my parents feet with the bike closed but i could actually sit on my mom's lap with the bag open so that was actually super super nice of them and it was just like the first flight of about 50 minutes so that was also completely fine and i slept and the time flew by and after the first flight, we had a stop in Amsterdam and we had a two hour layover. So I got to have some food and also something to drink, of course, because I could just like pee again after like one and a half hours, maybe. And then we already walked at the airport a little bit into the direction of our gate. So I could just like walk a little bit and not be in my carrier anymore. And then we sat down in a little cafe, which was nice. And... My mom had an apple and I was super jealous of that and I wanted to have a piece too but of course she got me a little little bit in the end and then we just like relaxed a little bit and had a bit of a break which was super good and actually my parents thought that if they if we have a two hour layover and they would give me like food and drink in the beginning then of course I would have to go potty again at the airport but after like one and a half hours and like we're already going in the direction of our next flight, I didn't pee yet. And my parents were kind of like worried that I would have to go like during the next flight. And they even like brought this little puppy toilet, which I could use. And they trained me a command, which I would like use to go to pee. And it always works at home, but it didn't work at the airport. So either... I didn't pee for like four and a half hours, which I never managed before during the day, 
or I peed somewhere and my parents didn't notice, which is like almost not possible. But that's for always and ever gonna be my little secret. And then we had our next boarding and we kind of like boarded towards the end so we wouldn't have to sit in the airplane for too long. And after we boarded, we almost immediately took off, which was nice. But the stewardess already came in the beginning to us and said that we would have to close the carrier and that it would have to be put down at the feet of my parents. And my parents were a little bit scared that that would be a problem, but actually it was no problem at all. And I immediately fell asleep because I was also super tired, but maybe because I'm also so used to my carrier because my parents reinforced it with food, but also because I'm used to sleeping in my crate from like being a baby on. But after like one and a half hours on the plane, I started to whine a little bit because there were also three or like two other dogs on the plane. We were like three dogs in total and they barked a little bit and I woke up. But then my mom just gave me my bunny ear, which I love. It's kind of like one of my favorite snacks. So I could just like snack on it a little bit. And then afterwards, I basically <laughs> fell asleep again. And my parents were a little bit naughty because they took the bag on their lap, but nobody said anything. So we were just like really lucky that they told us in the beginning that we're not allowed to do it. But then they also saw that we did it, but nobody said anything. So I think it was fine. And it was good for me to calm down and sleep a little bit longer. So also with the second flight, everything went well. And after landing, we were lucky that we could go outside like kind of quickly. And then, of course, I got some water and I also had to pee immediately. But of course, that was okay. So our conclusion is that our first flight in total went so well. And my parents and I are just so happy about it that we didn't have like any major problems at all. And I slept a lot and it worked out so well in general. And I think it's also because my parents informed themselves very well and they prepared a lot and they just try to be very calm and relaxed so that I'm also calm and relaxed. And it was just a good first flight. And after arriving, we took our rental car to our hometown, which is like a 30 minutes drive from the airport. And afterwards, I'm just so, so happy to arrive and I got snacks and I got food and I got more water. And then we also just like cuddled a lot and uh, rested a lot for basically the whole rest of the day. And I'm just so happy for new adventures. And I'm so excited also to take you along on my journey. So definitely subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out on my Spanish adventures and on my first long vacation or workation for my parents. And then we're going to see each other in the next video.